I'm Kathleen Winter, and I'd like to read you four poems from my new book, Transformer, which was just published by the Word Works Press. The first poem is Holes in Drywall Made by a Fist. Holes in drywall made by a fist are uneven, erode. They leak steadily, steadily, dust. What arguments gave rise to them, you ask? These craters pocking walls to the side of windows. Holes make a living room appear askew, deranged. Whoever wanted out couldn't get there. Or maybe they were made to scare a lover. She froze, amazed. The first time he swung for the wall, jaw clenched and on impact, the fight flooded out of her, limp now, not even screaming, dazed. Taking in the concrete nature of her fear, a dense and solid thing, she knows must fit inside her brain despite its size, refrigerator weight, its trick of slipping into dreams she'll have all week of dust, propelled in storms across the base, the sure report of her erasure. This poem is called Finally the Girls. Finally, the girls get to do what they're told. Shut up and sing. Exhausting, so many mixed messages. I wear the fox stole, livid beauty of such monstrous object I'll never forget. After the show, I stand behind Harry for the photograph. He sits beside the keyboard in his pawn shop tux, tight, white lilies in his black lap, his hands calm as a sniper's. After the camera moves on, he snaps, get me a whiskey, don't smoke, don't talk to nobody. This is just the next impossibility. I lean on the bar, let my fox head do the speaking. She says, honey, give me a double strongest poison in the house. The varmint's got me soul and body by the neck and twisting it. Fucker can't see. I'm already dead. And this one is called Colorado Flats. Yesterday we passed a wolf who lives outside a rental in Glen Haven. Faded gray, lanky as a pole. Imagine a pack of him chasing you over snow. Broke folks sure keep tough animals. On the road to marble or rock, invisible in sunset, sacrificed two tires. The guy who came for us in the wrecker brought a pit without a collar, laid his head in my lap as Travis drove us up and down the pass at speeds a rabid man would choose to pump to hold what he has to lose. The lab rode the wrecker's bed in the trashed sedan. Glaucus and confused his eyes on ours as we stepped away into the cab. We were scared to ask him to slow down. This blonde kid, we were paying. You in the front seat, me in back, wondering if we'd make it till supper. It was the second Father's Day without our father. Changed by the diving sun, the air turned uncomfortable in color. Who knows what fatherlessness drove our driver. The universe has a horizon beyond which we cannot see. And the last poem of the book, that is the last poem I'll read for you, is called The Porch Roof's Sky Blue Ceiling. Looking to be moved, the gravel pathway vanished into moonlessness. Not before a black hose bisected it in the porch zone light. Fear of little breaches slice in the heel through which seeps the soul's red light. Fear of trivial experience, waste of the unknown quantity of summer nights. Be moved by the porch roof's pale blue painted ceiling if you are an insect, dissuaded from staking your claim. Mud daubers stinglessly pass through the breached green door screen, searching for a ceiling 
not a sky. I trap myself in weariness, housing contingency in an anxious eye. Old as I am, still dumb. Why won't I say it? The key is always hidden someplace terribly obvious, under the only blooming thing on the front porch, inside an iron horse just right of the front door. This wink in the mind's smoky mirror, this love of the first person passing. Thanks very much.